Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today uh, we will be speaking regarding uh, Marksman Legendary Hero Nico uh, which is in my opinion uh, very free to, free -to play uh, players friendly uh, legendary hero as a free to play player myself, um, as you already know I have not even spent one dollar in this game and I have been playing this game for seven months already. I already got enough experience to speak regarding heroes. Well, because I have already tested them uh, with wars, with uh, different features of the game and so on. So why Nico is uh, so popular? Well, in season one it was more popular, but why, it, why he keeps being popular? Well, in order for us to find out why Nico is so popular, we need to simply understand what this skill set of the Nico is. Well, first uh, skill is like uh, like any other damage factor skill. It's, it has 1,400 damage factor, but what's important here is Nico has defense reduction, which is always good against infantry, even against cavalry. So you are like breaking as much shields as possible with Nico. Well, uh, the Nico skill set has one weakness because not all of his skills are uh, usable in the battlefield. For example, this passive skill is a about engineering. And in my opinion, this is the only thing we can say that it ha Nico has is a bad one, right? Uh, in general, like third skill is about marksman and the defense bonus, and here is normal attack and counter attack. So, why Nico is popular? Simply because 5 1 1 1 uh, strategy with Nico is totally fine. Well, it's uh, risky to upgrade other skills because you have this expert mechanic which does not really do anything uh, in the battlefield or, or any way of fighting in the game. So, like 5 1 1 1 for a free to play players is like, like one of the best spots uh, possible, right? Because uh, upgrading skills of the legendary hero is pretty hard. Uh, regarding the awakening skill, like again, it's, it has again defense break, which is really really cool. Uh, honestly, my main march is uh, contested with Nico, like I, I have been using Nico by far, but I don't have enough luck. As you can see, I have 5-1-2-1. Uh, well, in, in order for you to play well with Nico, you just need to have a 5-1-1-1 and good synergy pair. Regarding like uh, talents, well, it's pretty easy. Uh, in my opinion, there is like two ways of playing with Nico uh, currently, uh, and I will show it right now. Uh, like one talent tree, in my opinion, is like going for a precision. Uh, in this case, you have like more, uh, more of a, a hybrid. You are fine in Behemoth and you are fine in the battlefield. But uh, most popular currently, uh, the talent tree is all about like uh, buffing your marksman units, and whenever your legion is contested with the only marksman units, your your uh, attack is uh, getting higher. Uh, here, like as I said, like normal attack damage, like damage factor, like uh, Nico uh, in general is like. Not, not an auto attacker, it's a damage dealer with the skills. So everything which gonna give you rage and which gonna give you additional damage on Nico will be totally fine. That's why the marksman tree uh, is viable. You can use marksman tree on uh, like battlefield, but if we compare, in my opinion, precision is better in behemoth and marksman is better uh, during the war stages. Like regarding like engineering, I, I would not recommend anyone to at least upgrade single point to the engineering tree because uh, Nico, yeah, it has engineering tree, but Nico is fighter, Nico is marksman with precision, which are both good uh, talent trees to have on a uh, marksman hero. Uh, regarding like hero pairs, uh, there is one and main and my favorite actually a hero pair for Nico, which I'm currently using since the season one, uh, is like Nico and Kinara. Well, as you can see, my Kinara is on a better conditions because like almost all of my gems went to the upgrading the Kinara and I'm getting like daily shards, daily tokens. So why this synergy is so good? Uh, it's a great question. Well, 
uh, as we already spoke, uh, Nico has a def defense reduction on the targets whenever it hits with the skill, and also uh, the awakening skill gives like 80% defense break. Uh, it's it's like synergistic with the Kinara's uh, kit. Like Kinara is giving defense break, more defense break is better for the uh, marksman legion in my opinion. And like in general, uh, my honest opinion is like defense break is one of the main stats for the marksman hero. So like synergy is pretty clear. Like defense reduction, defense break. Uh, Kinara has a uh, defense break here. Uh, also like. Uh, like normally the counter attack damage is not a big thing for the marksman but well we should uh, talk about it like Kinara has a uh, counter attack damage bonus here and Nico also has a, a counter attack damage bonus so synergy is pre pretty clear um, in my opinion if you have like 5-1-1-1 Kinara and 5-1-1-1 Nico Nico as a primary and Kinara as a secondary will be amazing hero pair that's uh, the hero pair which I'm currently running and like honestly right now I'm even running Nico and Kinara in Behemoths, in Wars, in Roots of War and I don't have any complaints. Like whenever I see same uh, power uh, person as me and we have like uh, same amount of units, uh, Nico and Kinara is performing really well. So I will always suggest this hero pair. Regarding other ones, uh, like uh, there is one uh, which with Gwenwin, uh, Gwenwin as a primary and uh, Nico as a secondary. Uh, honestly, like uh, any other hero pairs for Nico would seem bad. That's how good uh, Nico and Kinara is. Like honestly, if you want to play with uh, Nico, you need to have a Kinara. That's the best one. Like uh, average one would be Gwenwin with. Um, Nico simply because Gwenwin would be awakened and awakened heroes are pretty good. Also, Gwenwin with Nico would be would be good uh, for Behemoth, not good like best one because Gwenwin simply is uh, great in Behemoth. Uh, other than that, uh, like uh, you can run, for example, Nico with uh, uh, Freygar. Uh, Where is Freygar? Here, Freygar. But Freygar has a different uh, hero pairs which would be great to run for. But Nico, because of defense break uh, and defense reduction which Nico has, like any uh, marksman hero would be good with him. But the best one is Nico and Kinaro. Regarding like uh, artifacts, uh, I have the wide choice of artifacts for Nico. Like uh, any marksman artifact will be good. Uh, honestly, as a free-to-play player, I don't have much option. And if you guys are free to play uh, players, you will understand my opinion. Uh, because, like, as you can see, I only have like one single artifact, like legendary ar artifact for a single unit type. Here is like magic, marksman, uh, cavalry, so on. So, like, uh, what I would suggest, Shadow Blades is great. Like, Shadow Blades would be great for any marksman. Uh, um, uh, hero. Uh, if we will speak regarding Epic Wang's um, Heart Piercer will be like the best one in Epic section, uh, just because of the additional defense break, as you can see. And for a Nico and Kinara defense break synergy, you are adding more defense break with the Heart Piercer, which is great. The secondary option for the Epic ones is Bonflinger. Uh, it doesn't have any passive; it's just straight up uh, damage factor. And regarding like legendary ones, the Shadow Blades is a good one to have. Uh, like regarding other ones, anything with the Marksman uh, legendary artifact would suit. Uh, but the best one, in my opinion, is Heart Pier not Heart Purser, like Rattle Spear, which I don't have, and we currently could not uh, get uh, the Rattle Spear with the chests. But I will try to show you through the icons because you need to understand whenever you see it, right? This one, you can see it. I, I don't have the toy I can show you on the big screen. This one is a rattle spear. This uh, artifact will give you additional defense break uh, from the uh, artifact skill. And with Nico and Kinara, a synergy of defense breaks. 
uh, it will be amazing, right? Like everything is compared, everything is adding up, and every st every item for the fighting with a defense break is great. Regarding like war pets, uh, honestly, I have already did uh, sing one by one war pet guide um, on my channel, but like I will speak lightly. In my opinion, uh, Snowpeak Rock would be cool and uh, would be great for the Nico uh, with the concentration main skill like Legion physical attack is great thing to have and not additional 30% chance to deal like give a defense break with the concentration has itself a defense break so in general any anything in the game which gonna give you a defense break would be good with Nico and Kinara this is my main march and I, I, I'm, sh I'm sure I understand what I'm talking about that's why I try to take this video like anything with the uh, defense break uh, will be uh, good in a warped section too but my choice is snow peak rock with concentration uh, with like shield break and, like defense penetration for the for the uh, physical attack is like again maniac mike legion, legion physical attack is great and here is like counter attack damage this is the my way of playing the nico and kinara and in general nico like regarding <clears throat> other hero types uh, like if you guys want to me to do more uh, legendary hero guides like you can always tell me on the comment section which heroes you guys want me to do and at first i will try it if i have not played with it and whenever i have enough experience enough enough knowledge i will for sure do it so far this is a guide regarding nico i hope you like it uh bye bye see you soon